Come on, cows, get your feed. Come on. Don't look at me like that. Come over here. You know you want to come play. You think it's electric? Dude, they're on the road. Come here, buddy. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, you dumb fuck. He said no. He doesn't want to play. Maybe these ones will. You always cold outside. Joe, your turn. There's one on your side. Oh, okay. Don't run over. Don't run over him. I'm not gonna run him over. Come here, Tatanka. Oh, look, there's a baby one. Oh, they're right there. Come here. I don't think that calf's gonna let you. Well, the buffalo didn't want to play, but uh, we're headed to the lake now. Y'all be ready. Got another fishing tutorial coming at you. Going back to fishing school with Robert. Gonna be a good one. Back with another episode of fishing school today. So we're at the McPherson State Fishing Lake, and as you can see, they have this nice, beautiful fishing pier. But fishing piers are for pussies that don't know how to fucking fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across the other side of the road where it runs under the bridge and there's a little pond back there. We're gonna fucking bushwhack back up in that bitch, and we're gonna try and catch some lunkers back there. So let's fucking go. So as you can see, we're back up in here. We're still making our way to the water. I'm gonna go down here. But as always, we're gonna, you know, fish with the trusty frog. Toss his little ass out there. Because this looks like a type of place where frogs are. And we're gonna we're gonna see what we can bring in. So fucking go for it. So kids, we made it to the water and it is now time to fish. So what we're gonna do, obviously you got your rig set up, because your rig fucking stays set up in your car. That's what a true fisherman does. You have your back seat down. If you got to fit five people in there, someone's sitting in someone's lap because the fishing rig always stays set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it. That was a big-ass bird. Uh, we're going to take it, and you're just going to cast it out there as far as he'll fucking go and then just, just start reeling his little ass in like that, and you get it really good enough, he'll hop across the entire fucking pond right back to you, and you ain't got to reel it too far then. Then it works real nice. Just get his back, ass back in, skip him across some leaves like that, and then just yank him out there again. And like I said, just fucking rip him in. I don't know, I tangled my line. Joe, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if this part of the lake is legal to fish. Yeah, I don't think so. Like way away there's no parking anywhere near it and it's like all fenced off and shit but you know fucking gotta fish them fucking on to the next one baby oh yeah Keep on to the next one go. so guys we're not catching shit so we're coming back we're gonna try a different part of the lake and i'm gonna change out to a crankbait but i figured while i was here might as well let you see the car so you know of course you got the you got the fly rod up in here and you got you got two fishing poles one of them is broken down it's kind of a secondary pole you know you use it if you want whatever then you know you got your waders in there and you got your toolbox and your levels of course got to have your lighter fluid because you never know what you need that for and your wrench set and you know all sorts of shit and here's the tackle box back up in here because you don't need to buy no fancy tackle boxes just get you an old camel back and Toss everything in there. That'll work. Oh, <laughs> that'll work. My kids back again, so we switched it up. Um, I couldn't find my crankbait because I realized last time I was fishing, I kind of casted it into a waterfall and it got stuck on a rock. So I need to buy a new crankbait. I don't have one anymore. So I put a Senko worm on. That's what I got today. And so what you're gonna do is we're not fishing on the end of the pier like a pussy. Cause that's what bitches do but what we're doing a little bit is we're just getting a little bit out here so we can get us some casting room and so we're gonna toss it kind of out along the shoreline because when you sit when you're fishing a worm 
You want to fish kind of close to the shoreline. You don't want to be one of those dumbasses that tosses it out in the middle of the fucking lake. But you don't know what the hell you're doing with a goddamn fish. Because fucking worms don't live out in the middle of the fucking lake. They wiggle off the shore onto the edge here. So basically what we're going to do is just take it and just rip it as far as you can. Just like that. You want a high cast. Just, just start going to town. Oh, fuck. All right, kids, my last lesson for today is it is cold as tits outside. And when it's cold as tits and you just, you don't fish. That's for fucking Yankees. Those bum fuck ass people from up north, they don't know what the hell they're doing with their life and they don't know how to fucking fish because goddamn Yankees. And that's just, you don't, no, we don't deal with fucking cold, okay? It is April, it needs to be 98 degrees. It doesn't need to have fucking ice on the edge of the lake like this bullshit, goddammit. So fucking northerners, get your shit together, go beat the fuck out of Jack Frost, something like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reel in and get back in the fucking car because it's cold as shit. We're gonna go back to school. And I need a beer because daddy needs a beer. All right, kids, so another edition of the fishing school. You always got to be on the lookout for bait. And so, just always. So right now, I found some. And y'all are to see. So I'm going to go get it for you. I can rope kill. You'll catch some big ass ones with that motherfucker right there. I tell you what, put his ass on a hook. Fucking pop it through there and toss his ass out. You get you a big motherfucker out there. And he's ready to go.